everyone, this is Kay from K9. I imagine, I create and I hope to inspire you along the way. If you want to follow me on my journey, feel free to subscribe. I know, I know, I'm about 20 days too late with posting this plan with me video. I have no excuse, I was doing all the other things that don't include filming and editing. But I'm back, finally I'm here to share with you my February setup. As you guys already know, I started a new bullet journal this year, so everything is also a little new to me. So please bear with me as I figure out how to work with these white pages now instead of brown ones. I hope you enjoy watching my experiments and whatnot. The theme for this month is of course a cliché rose with a little bit of my own twist to it. To start off, I'm getting the lined sheet of paper from the back and putting it behind the page I'm going to work on, since I know the paper of this journal is very bleed through. And then I go ahead and start with my unique rose. Fun fact, I actually learned the basics of drawing this rose from my mom when I was very little. I'm trying to work on the go without planning ahead, which leaves all the space for mistakes. But the best part is that I have to get creative to fix those mistakes. And the end result is never perfect, but the imperfection is what makes it truly my style. Talking about imperfection, I have to apologize beforehand for the bad filming quality of the process. I didn't realize the focus wasn't right on the camera, so therefore you have to watch most of the process in a blurry mess. I'm sorry, you can skip through the video to get a general idea. Or if you power through the whole thing, I'll send you my eternal love. Thank you for understanding. Beneath the rose I drew out some more thorns to write down the letters of the week. And I drew rose petals under them for the days of the month. That completes my February calendar look. I added an accent color to the calendar, which is pink, and outlined the rose to make it pop out of the page. With shreds of craft paper, I wrote down the month in white and tore the paper up into smaller pieces and assembled them together again at the top. If you noticed, you might have guessed that I actually wanted to write the full month in onto the piece of craft paper, but was unable to do so. That's why I came up with a solution to tear them into pieces, because let's be honest here, your girl got no time to rewrite February onto another piece of paper. And I don't like to waste paper unnecessarily, so remember guys, go with the flow, make mistakes, try to think of creative solutions on the go. I must admit, the results at the end was much better than I would have gotten if I had stuck to my first idea. I added another accent color to the title, a classic red to make the letter stand out. After that, I added some details to the rose to give it some depth. Basically, I added lines upon lines to connect the petals to the base of the rose. At the end, I gave the center the accent colors red and pink as well. And if you look closely, it almost represents a heart shape. I apologize again for the blurry mess, you'll see the best results in the flip through and also in the individual shots at the beginning and the end of this video. I'll be extra careful to check the focus next time, I promise.
colored Valentine's Day with red because that marks Mr. Husband and my marriage anniversary. We celebrated two years together that day and wish to celebrate that day for many years to come. Alright, moving on to the next page. Here I use a piece of craft paper again. As you can see, the rose drawing on the previous page bled through quite a bit, so in order to still be able to work on this page, I covered most of the see-through part with the craft paper and started writing the title for the planning of the month. Of course, we can never forget the gold shimmery washi tape. If it were up to me, I would cover the whole page with it. But then again, I would like the tape to last at least for a few months, so I did the minimum decoration with it. I try to use my white ink pen as much as I can on brown paper because I love how it looks and I'm also loving the combination of black and white. On the right page I wrote down imagine, create, inspire, which is and will always be my life quote. For this page it's appropriate because this will be my brain dump page where all the ideas will be written down. I added some craft paper doodles and washi tape to go with the theme and I do that all around for this spread adding some hearts here and there and different colors. the left page I drew a circle and created a wreath and made that my task list holder. And of course you can't forget the string of leaves all over the pages. Moving on to my weekly spread, like always I will make one for each month to give you an idea. I used craft paper to set the days and on top I added little boxes with the dates and a little heart. The right page is the true start of February, so I decorated those a little bit more with strings of white leaves with a shower of hearts. To end it off, I used gold arrow washi tape. marks the end of the February setup, so here is a little flip through. I really hope you enjoyed this month's setup. Let us leave all the cliches and blurry mess behind us in this month and hope for a fresh, clean and crisp start in the next. If you like this month's theme, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below if you have any questions or any suggestions for the next video. 
Also, don't forget to share your recreations with me on Instagram. I have my account linked in the description. You can find daily uploads of my journal there. And I'm hoping to post my March plan with me video very soon. So if you don't want to miss out on that, please subscribe and click that bell button to be notified. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. And until next time, keep imagining, keep creating and stay inspired. Bye darlings. Thank you.